Do you like creepy paintings where the person's eyes seem to follow you around the room? Well, you are going to love this new feature from NVIDIA called Eye Contact. It's AI software, and what it does is it estimates and realigns your eye contact, your focus, so that it looks like you are looking at the other person on video, when actually your eye contact could be on anything. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Now, it's still in beta because, as you can imagine, there are a million nuances around trying to replicate such a precise and personal behavior as eye contact. As many of you know, I am a big proponent of making eye contact on video, and there really is not enough of that going on right now. But is 100% the right number? Here are my thoughts on that. First of all, many people consider unrelentless eye contact a little unnerving, perhaps even intrusive or intimidating or creepy. And this software, unfortunately, has either an on or an off button. And once it is on, you completely lose control of your own eye contact, which means you also lose a lot of those human moments that express your personality, like when you might look away to thoughtfully consider what someone said or shyly respond to a compliment or, or any type of personality or emotion that you might express. The second thing is that unless this software is perfect, which it's not yet, which means there's no lags, there's no color inconsistencies, there's no weird pupil placement, <laughs> uh, someone is likely to pick up that it is AI generated, that it is a deep fake. And once they do, they can feel very deceived and wonder if they've been talking to someone who's been paying attention at all. And that's a real risk you take. And of course, if the software is perfect, that's a little suspicious as well because human beings aren't perfect and we don't make 100% eye contact. So that feels unnatural. Now, is there a case for this? Absolutely. If you are a presenter or a newscaster or a speaker and you rely on notes and you're, you're talking as one to many and you're not having a two-way dialogue necessarily, that can be helpful. But for people who are having uh, conversations and trying to collaborate on video and in virtual meetings. For those who value the human connection and transparency, there are more genuine and realistic ways to make eye contact on camera and read body language and stay engaged with your audience that allow you to control that and not the AI. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Are you planning on using it? Uh, what questions do you have? Please share below.